What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Mickey Quill and I have a massive haul today. Oh, it's a big one. Uh, this is all from Love to Create, which is a beautiful little store up in Rutherford, New South Wales, a kind of Newcastle-y kind of way. Uh, and I got a lot of things, so I wasn't asked to make this video. I just want to show you what I got because there's some new things that I hadn't seen before, some new uh, collections. There's a lot of embellishments, stickers, papers. I've got some stencils pencils, brushes, paper pads, a bit of everything. So I'll start off with the embellishments that I got and I will try to best avoid the glare. Uh, this was a new Pebbles collection that I hadn't seen called Happy Cake Day and so I got the ephemera pack I thought these would be really good to if I wanted to make a birthday card for someone. Uh, there's some really good like center pieces that you could use, but then also birthday layouts. And then I got two sets of the puffy stickers just because they were so cute. And I really like small puffy stickers. It's a pet peeve of mine when puffy stickers are too big. <laughs> so I, I thought the smaller ones would be handy. Speaking of small puffies, I bought these from the Snowflake collection from Crepe Paper. Although a lot of this is not appropriate for where I live, uh, I wanted to get it because we don't get snow where I live, um, but I might use some of these for just some winter pages rather than Christmas pages. So I got that and I also grabbed the uh, sticker sheet sticker set from that same collection so same again there's a few quite a few things that I won't actually use for Christmas time I'll probably put all of these on a single layout uh, when it starts to get a bit frosty not really frosty but a bit chilly <laughs> low teens in the Celsius degrees and then I love that little deer so that's that. I haven't really got a lot of Christmas stuff uh, this year. I really, I prefer it when the Christmas collections aren't too snowy. Um, but this one being Snowflake, of course, was going to be <laughs> quite snowy. So I think I just got that in the chipboard coming up. Uh, I was really excited to find the Pink Fresh Studio office hours. I did get two of them. And I, I've got the stickers, I think, in a previous haul possibly uh, but I was looking for the ephemera pack and I couldn't find it anywhere but Nat had it which was good they'll be really handy for um, project life this was a collection I hadn't seen from Echo Park called I am mum and I thought this was quite appropriate to for me to use at the moment I think there were two there were two different ones this was the the mixed ephemera frames and tags and then there was another there was a different one as well so I grab that I've had these before I bought these a couple of years ago they were the Jane Davenport washi strips and I used them and I loved having them just slipped in my uh, traveler's notebook so I grabbed another pack of those and then I must have bought another pack of those happy cake days so two of those <laughs> I grabbed two of these tiny word stickers from the new Dear Lizzie collection and they're just, ah, oh, they're just beautiful. I love a good typewriter font. So I grabbed two of those. I don't know what the name of the collection is though. This one I have the, not the frames and tags, I have the other ephemera pack and I've been using that quite a, lit, uh, quite a lot with, um, I was gonna say little, quite a lot and bit and it came out as lit. <laughs> Uh, with Archie layouts I've been using them so I grabbed the frames and tags set this is from Vic Vicky Booten and I absolutely love this pack this is my second pack of um, these little die cut frames and journaling spots so I've had a lot of you I haven't got much left of my first pack so I wanted to grab another one of those I hadn't seen, actually a subscriber sent me this pack and I have used them already and I think it was a different collection though that they sent me. Um, so I found these and I thought these would be really good to slip into Violet's uh, baby album 
kit that I'm putting together for a class that's going to come out this year and I thought I'd put this one in Archie's album. These are from Dear Lizzie and I liked that the there were so many small um, ephemera pieces. So here's a little look at what's included. I really like the girl and the, the bearded man. I'll be able to use that on a, um, a photo of Aaron. Here's the other set from the I Am Mum collection. This is just the ephemera pieces. So lots of sayings. And I know that uh, some people, some Aussie peeps might get a bit frustrated with the mum, spelt M-O-M. I am a little frustrated with it, so I'm not sure if I will use those pieces or I may be able to figure out a way to kind of cover it up because we spell it M-U-M. So we'll, we'll see how I go with that one. This I thought was really pretty from Jen Hadfield's Homemade and I just thought all of these little stickers were very dainty. I don't know if I will, there's a lot of different people. Um, I don't know how I will use those. I might even use those in my Hobonichi maybe. Loved these. And then same with this one. I think these might be better suited to my Traveller's Notebook. Um, and then lots of little tiny words. So I will probably put this in my Traveller's Notebook stash. I think it's just a little more, like the characters are a little more what I do over there. Uh, this was an old one from Project Life. I think I've had this one before and I really liked all of the chipboard um, words. I got good use out of those. So that'd be great for Project Life. I think I'll save this up to put in my next uh, couch scrapping kit. Some giant puffies very very giant puffies from the Hooray crepe paper and then puffies from Office Hours. I really love these ones, the colours of them. They're really pretty and I like how crisp the colours are. They're very, they're not dull colours that um, I find some of the collections sometimes have, not from Pink Fresh but other companies. I really like how fresh, there the really is fresh colour scheme and then these I fell in love with and so I bought three packets uh, these are from Pink Paisley and I will use the bejesus out of those so yes they will they will definitely all get used so that's I've got things piled all around me I'm just waiting for a, uh, a craft lunch to happen uh, this is a long chatty hall peeps by the way so I should have said that at the start of this video. Uh, this is from Pink Paisley Lucky Us and it is the 6x12 cardstock sticker sheet. I, this hand looks very curvy. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably use that in my Traveller's Notebook and then some of the other ones in my layouts. I grabbed the another set of the uh, phrase stickers from Office Hours. I did grab two of these because I used up most of my other packet and I really like them for just documenting like my working from home um, scrappy stuff and it just I think I'll get a heap of use still out of those. I bought this one which isn't in my usual colour palette. Uh, it's very very bright so we'll see how we go. Well I'm going to try and use them on some Archie pages and um, if not in my traveler's notebook. Archie's obsessed with dinosaurs, so this will definitely come in handy and rocket ships as well. His pillowcases are um, astronaut and a rocket ship and he gets so sad if he has any other <laughs> pillowcase but that one. So I really need to find it again, remember where I got it from and buy a backup one. Um, so I think I might do a little layout with him in bed with that rocket pillowcase. These are really pretty. They're thickers. They're called Happy Birthday. And I have a feeling they go with the Pebbles collection. Uh, but they're just, they're nice and bendy. And lots of different colours. If you're a card maker, these would be perfect for uh, the fronts of cards. These are Lucky Charm. And they're foam thickers. They go with that, this one, this collection. I really liked the Queen of My Heart one. I 
do love a good foam thicker. And then I grabbed a heap of thickers and I never buy, if I can help it, just one set. I always buy at least two if it's a font that I really love uh, because I, I just go through them way too quickly and they're not easy to get your hand on uh, here in Oz. So I grabbed two of Honey and Spice. I also like it when they have the, the numbers too. And I much prefer a font that has all one size or one case, like not uppercase and lowercase. This one's going to be a bit trickier because it's got large and then slightly smaller, which I think will frustrate me a lot. Uh, but I did get two of these. They are called Together. And then these ones were beautiful. These are called Comfort. So I got three of these. I've got like a little leaf pattern on them. I grabbed, usually I stick to black and gold and white. They seem to be my main thickers that I use. I have colored ones, but I, I rarely use them. But I thought I would give these a go because I really like the color. We'll, we'll give it a try. I might put a set of these actually in Archie's baby album. Uh, these are called Max. And then there was only one set of these left and I wish there was more because I love them. Uh, they're called Journal. I might have to ask her to order some more in for me because I'm going to hoard these, I can tell. Uh, these are a wood grain called Cedar. Wood grains are another like nice neutral that I like to have. And then these are called Hello Joy. I have a feeling that I've had these before and used them all. So I grabbed a, another pack. And then we'll move on to some paper and mixed media goodies. I grabbed these two Project Life kits. So they're, I think they're based on the crepe paper collections from a little while ago, the girl one and the boy one. And in it, you get cards and little ephemera pieces. Even though the cards are rounded, which does drive me a little batty, I much prefer a straight corner. I'm going to pop these in Archie and Violet's uh, baby album kits that I'm putting together because I think it's just good. Even if I cut some of the pieces out and layer them on other cards, or I will use a lot of the cards just as is, but um, I thought it was nice to have some baby specific things. I got two little mini paper pads. Sorry, my mat's wonky. Uh, this one is Hooray and I liked the patterns and the colors in it. I think I'd had a couple of the papers in 12 by 12 and I'd used them up already, um, but I really like the six by eight size because I just find it handy for photo layering. And then I also got Happy Cake Day. So similar theme and style, um, these two, so I'll, I'll probably keep them together. I was really excited to find uh, the sticker books at Love to Create. This one I've been wanting for ages. It's the newer Maggie Holmes one. And I bought it without even looking at it because I just, I knew that there would be a lot of things in there that I would be able to use. Oh, that one hasn't been printed. Hmm. I must have accidentally forgot to print that page. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, but there's lots. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I will definitely get a lot of use out of that. I almost finished my other sticker book. I'll have to find it and try and set myself a challenge to use as much of it as I can. I think I might, might only have a quarter of it left. Uh, there's not a lot left, that's for sure. This one I was on the fence about and I did get it. It's the um, Jen Hadfield Homemade. Oh, it's Home Plus Made, not Homemade. I thought it was Homemade. But looking at it, there's a lot of planner stuff in it that I'm not sure if I'll use. So I may take out the sticker sheets that I won't use like these ones um, and pass them on to someone who does pretty planning. Uh, 
and these travel ones as well I don't don't travel often <laughs> um, but I can give these a go in project life um, but yeah so there's that one these are really handy if you don't have a lot of space as well because it secures all the stickers in one spot or if you uh, travel around a lot to to scrap then a couple of more or slightly mixed media -y type things I grabbed this washi tape from Dina Wakely it had a lot of red tones in it so I thought I'd like that and then I was excited to find this the Tim Holtz collage paper so this is the botanical print one I also bought some ink but I didn't realize I bought acorn instead of black so it's kind of like a brown black uh, so I might pass that on to someone I thought I had picked up the black one but I didn't by accident uh, so yeah I might pass that one on I had violet while I was shopping at this point so I was a little bit distracted <laughs> uh, these are cool so I may have done something a little naughty peeps I may have left two jars of water with paintbrushes in them uh, in my craft room before I had Violet and then came back to them two months later to find all the water had evaporated and the paintbrushes were hard as rocks and uh, stuck to the bottom of the glass jars <laughs> so I tried my best I tried to revive my paintbrushes I got a couple back but there were some that were just too far gone uh, so I picked up these these are the collage brush set I thought this would be handy for applying matte gel medium in my art journal and then I hadn't seen these before these are by Prima they're art basics and there's some nice big paintbrushes I needed to replace my big size but then on the bottom they have texture tools like with um, little silicon bits so I thought they would be fantastic for gel printing I got one one little stamp so this one's from 49 market and market uh, it's called captured adventures and I thought that I would be able to use it for some background stamping in art journaling two stencils this one is by color blast and I can definitely see myself putting some texture paste uh, through this one and this is by Darkroom Door, lovely local company. And then we're running out of room. Ah, I grabbed the snowflake chipboard and like I said, it's not, I won't put this with my Christmas stash because it's 35 degrees at Christmas usually. <laughs> Uh, yesterday was meant to be 41 but luckily it, I think it only got up to 39 or so not that two degrees is much of a difference but it's quite steamy here at the moment peeps uh, I, there's no snowmen in sight that's for sure so I grabbed that and then I did get this um, foil cardstock specialty paper as well it's double-sided this might be a really nice maybe journal like a traveler's notebook cover I've been making uh, some traveler's notebooks over on patreon and using them as quote journals to do some brush lettering in and I think I might like to do a one that's that cover so now we're on to papers and I'll try and go quickly with the papers um, I'll just tell you the name and do a quick flip so this is Snowflake Very Merry, uh, Pebbles Merry Little Christmas Jolly Holly, same collection Santa on the Go. Uh, this was 49 and Market Bold and Beautiful Edge of Reason, I think that's what it's called. And I wanted to set myself a challenge with this one because it's not my usual colour palette, but I'm going to give that a go. Pink Paisley, Indigo and Ivy 05. Uh, I've got quite a few Cocoa Vanilla because they're probably my favourite paper collection ever. Uh, Natural Beauty. I love the wood grain. That's why I got this because I've used up all of mine already. <laughs> uh, this is Sprightly. 
which is a fantastic word that we should use more often. This polka dot is one of my faves and I always, oh, I get I get torn because I don't know whether to use the cut apart or the, um, the polka dot. So I got lots of the polka dot. I got how many? Four? Yep. And these are called Storyteller from the Unforgettable Collection. Uh, unscripted. And lace wing. I will use this side. <laughs> and then these are Dear Lizzie, She's Magic, Kind Heart. Oh, sorry. Uh, so good. Plan to put some of these in Violet's baby album kit. Now or Never. Two of those. Well, three of those. I think I liked both sides with that one as well. Uh, a simple hello. I'll probably cut these up and put them straight into my cards. Just smile. Sparkle. Perfectly imperfect. I'll probably cut these ones up. Uh, feeling fine. Dreaming two of those. Stay tuned. And another kind heart. That's all the papers. And then I did grab a few paper pads which is probably my preferred way to get paper just because I can get more of them for a cheaper price um, here in Oz and I can get the whole collection as one piece. Uh, so let me know actually, are you more of a paper pad person or an individual paper sheet person? Because I think, I feel like you're either one or the other. There's not much of a gray zone. You're either definitely prefer these or those. Uh, this is the Happy Cake Day. So it's similar to the six by eight pad, but um, I think there's a couple of different papers that are in this one that aren't. In the other one possibly and everything's repeated. I grabbed this one. Now you might be shocked at the colours. Mm, not very Adelish. Uh, this is Heidi Swap Honey and Spice and I bought this with a thought in mind. I started a video two years ago for Patreon uh, documenting my Nan's photos and I was doing some like his, uh, family history uh, scrapping but then she got really sick and um, quite down and I didn't want to bring up the old photos again because she was quite um, sad at the time and so I am hoping to start that project again in small little doses so that's what I got this for and the last thing I got was Pink Paisley Lucky Us just had a lot of nice pinky Kind of florally hearty pages and that's my haul so like I said peeps it was a massive one uh, just because it's easier for me to get a massive haul all at once and then tuck it away and have pull pieces out when I um, want them it kind of feels like shopping in my in my own room um, when I have a big haul like this so thank you for watching and I will put the details of love to create uh, in the description box it's a, a brilliant little store and if there's something that you are wanting then you can talk to Nat and she could always try and order it in for you as well but I will see you in the next video bye